life has been a hell since that moment. And from that moment, I begin to fight for myself. Because I have to say, yo, if me drop, too much I go drop with me. So I have to hold it down. Greetan, and you get where I come from. And the man who stop beat for your blood clan and got your blood clan. Me never make, me never beg, um, this is my interest. She come and give me. I got to talk about me. Look on your, look on your icebreaker. You should just help him. And done. Uh, Pastor. I bring him to your finger. Yeah, sure. Just give you the help. Me don't know fear and pastor business. But she give me a 10 grand there. So sweet me. So you appreciate the ten grand then? Yeah, man. A four bag my way out of that man. What kind of bag? Like again, my and subscribers are there upon a new vlog. A new vlog, my viewers and subscribers. I don't want to see the title. I don't want to see the thumbnail. I tell you that one is kind of emotional, my viewers and subscribers. We don't go talk too much in that one here. We just go play the clip them. And make going to see what I go on with the Queen Africa. So make sure you so no like the video. Make sure you so no comment on the video. Make sure you say so when you subscribe to my channel. If you don't subscribe to my Make sure you say subscribe to it right now, my viewers and subscribers. We're not even a talk long in it. I want to get into Queen Africa story where she has shared about her father. So we are get right into it, my viewers and subscribers. So I want to say to the ones them that looking at the video, those little apples and talking about I need to go do music and I need to leave it alone and I need to not let people not go down to them level. I am their level. I come from there, so I come from where those are the Jamaicans that I am trying to help from my little space. The people who all of this matter to exist in this country, the kids, them when I have no one to stand up with them, to talk to these powers that be and tell them that they need to set up policies and legislations to in law. To so that you don't have perverts like these who have access to our children so easily. From the moment I came into this industry, all that I have been lending my voice to and my space to is to help my country as a fellow Jamaican. To see my country become better, to see the potential when my country have realized, and there are so many people here on this island that can do it. And instead, every time a voice is lifted up to say something on behalf of this nation, uno come down power and uno make it look like say a we are the ones them way. I see the pervert them the way share to uno. See the pervert them that when we share to Uno. Yeah, I never hear me clear. You know something? There is a generational curse on this island we need to break. And the reason why it can't break is because it did set up. It did set up for this kind of outcome. It did set up for the country look like this. It did set up for bring the country to its knees. So that is why most of you encouraging me to walk away. But let me give you one story this morning out of my life why I now walk away. I'm going to give you now one story today on the 25th of August 2023. I mark my word after me tell you this today. Say, you know, not have to like me. You don't have to deal with me for the rest of my time in a, in a life until me try the earth. But I'm going to tell you now one 
and my story them why me not why me not let go when me let go. Why I don't stop. Why I don't ease up. It personal to me. And you know say it personal to thousands more here in this island who do not have any help. So let me tell you one personal story about Queen Africa, Ventris Margan, Goody Two Shoes. My name is Ventris Margan, dog. My name is Queen Africa, dog. See? Drop my name. Alright, so watch this. I'm 48 years of age. Born and raised by the rock your name, Jamaica. Never feel like no slave from the day I born. I never know what it feel like to feel like a slave. See? I want to listen to that little something I'm going to say right now. And when we talk it, I'm going to stop talk for the rest of the year. You see, after I said this, when I said this morning, I don't care when I see. I don't say nothing more for the rest of the year. Anything I'm going to say for the rest of the year. I forgot to be totally where the Almighty said for say. So if you can share the life here and save it, it's a historic moment for me personally right now. I'm fed up, I'm tired, I want to see a one in my country. I watch everyone who could have made a difference, either dead or have to run away or have to turn aside or just give up. We don't know where give up feel like. We don't know where stop we feel like. We don't know where turn from God feel like. I have never done any evil in front of the face of the Almighty Creator. From a barn out of my mother, me I tried one road away. way. Me not over it, but me not fight it. My born out of a very prominent family here on the island. Derek Morgan, the skeleton is my father. Derek Morgan, responsible for letting in and introducing Bob Marley. But my father sing the first independent song of this country that is who Queen Africa father is OD my family not small we don't ever see any of my family them from Derek Morgan's side come out and defend me in a no way shape or form no want someone tell me if them ever see Derek Morgan Family them, I have more than 17 brothers and sisters. Who don't ever see one of them? Well, big up yourself, Michelle Morgan. I love you, baby. You're my big sister, but I got to do this. See? So I am here to this tune of Jamaican music. By DNA rights. Me and a celebrity overnight. Me born a celebrity. So listen to this. Why is Queen Africa does always not stopping, not moving back, no matter what? She keep pushing, she keep saying, do better by my country. Do, you know why? 
because I identify with the part of my country that you all are standing on and looking on and watching die. And I refuse to die with them. So me live, so me live, me live, me live, so that you can see, so you can live after atrocities. You can live after anything will happen into you in your life. You can live. You don't have to be a victim of your circumstances. You can rise above it. You can stand up and say, I am proud of myself for going through all the things that I've been through. But I can stand up and say, because I love myself so much. You did not get me to feel myself. I never knew my father when I was growing up. I was only always hearing about the fact that I have a father that is famous. And God rest the soul of my grandfather, Mr. Gibson Walsh who always, always reminded me that I was the girl for the money. He always used to say, you are the girl for the money. I never knew my father when I was growing up. All of my other siblings, not siblings, some of my cousins and so, they had even, I, they, they met their dad, they, they had argued conversations with their dad. I never knew my father. I never knew my mother. I never had a mother and a father around when I was growing up. It was just family members. And this morning, I will make my first attempt to contribute to the breaking of this generational curse of darkness. We sit down over a particular set of Jamaican women and men that cause predators to, to lurk in our families' lives, them in our families, them, and you have the families divided and split down the middle because no one wants to stand up and speak the truth and help the family members that are suffering from all the different types of tell you drag one in a some family. So I'm about telling you this morning why me not walk away and we will never walk away till this over. I tried everything to meet my father, Derek Morgan. You hear what name? Derek Morgan. You see when there's something downtown, downtown name? It named Derek Morgan too. That is why I say I never want to call it name. But when I look into it, I say, why God would I choose to make a Creature like this surface, you know, near Derek Morgan. What is God saying to me? What is the Almighty saying to me? Why this creature appear near Derek Morgan of all names? And me going on myself and me look and me say, Boy, Queen, you have to really wait a little bit, you know. But you see, when we're looking at the urgency of things right now, I ain't waiting. I ain't waiting. So let me tell you this now. See? I've always wanted to meet my father. I've always wanted to meet my father. My mother never wanted to meet him want me to meet him because she was so angry with him. She hated him so much because of how he, he treated her. And I became the victim of that. I became the victim of that. 
the victim of the hatred between my mother and, and my father ended up on my shoulder. I had to deal with her hatred for him based on how she would deal with me. See? But I still love my mother and I never diss my mother yet. No matter what my mother do me, I never diss her yet. See? I always love my mother up until the day she died. I forgive her for everything before she died. That's why I could rest in my heart. See? When I wanted her to take me to meet Derek Morgan, she never wanted me to. She never wanted to take me, so I had to find a way to go and meet him for myself at a stage show in in downtown. And I, when I met him, I went to him hotel and I asked him why he neglect me over all these years, seeing. And him just said they married and have children and him couldn't make him wife no saying that they with them something less so that's why they tell me mother fear about me. Why they tell me mother fear about me. See so see me up on the back of the field for the most I cause she never about me. See After I meet him, I start get to know him, you know, because at the first, me I have a father figure in my life, and then I the great Derek Morgan, I the great Skell Legend, Kaloma for music, Kalom. Is him sing the first independent song for Jamaica. That's why we need to crash independence. We need to, we need to, we need to, we need to make them know say right now we are change around independence. Cause it never benefit we. After me start link up with him and him come when he come Jamaica, me link him up and thing and you don't know me I get to know my father, but me never have before. And my grandfather was my father. And my, when he dead, me never have no father left. You see me? So. I start link up with my father and I start to love my father. Call me and say, you know. See me and now, I have a father. And. One day, Greenwich Farm, 9th Street. I went to visit him when he was in Jamaica on one of them visits. Went to his house over Greenwich Farm, 9th Street. I'm there the with him today and I end up spending the whole day with him because I don't know I'm father. I mean, I get to know him. And they're the telling the hours in the night. Cause them time they meet to one rebel. Them time they meet to one rebel. But me and never start going on dealings or none of them kind of something like that. And the night, the day I'm dead with my father and the hours come down and I'm supposed to take a taxi to come up in my car. And he looked at me and he said, Nah man, you might go down, it's too late, stay. It's too late, man. Stay. You better you stay and go in the morning. Remember now, I'm a father, don't. So, from a father, I said, build me a bill, don't. And, the day and, you know, once and once pass through and then leave and thing and, 
you know, the boy was now, like, you know, I got one room and I got one bed. So, you know, the boy was going to go to bed. Go lay down upon the bed. The father never got to bed, never ready to go to bed yet. And the next thing, I wake up to, you know, the hours is with, with my father. I penetrate me. I wake up in the hours to my father trying to penetrate me sexually. Hold me down in the bed. I have sex with me and tell me, say. And tell me, say. His wife now nah, have no sex with him, so. He must do it with me. No one understand that he don't touch me there. I'm gonna tell on you one day, I swear. Can't you see I'm scared you're supposed to be my father, though? My life has been a hell since that moment. And from that moment, I begin to fight for myself. Because I have to say, yo, if me drop, too much I go drop with me. So I have to hold it, though. So I hold it for the sake. Everything and everyone and been all in it for the sake of everything and everyone. When are we going to break this generational curse? Yes, my viewers and subscribers, so leave an honest thoughts and opinion of one thing about Queen Africa and her father. You get the message, guys. This is a very touching and emotional story. So just leave an thoughts and opinion in the comment section below. Man, tell us that Queen Africa is a very strong woman. So go and make up yourself, Queen Africa, said we a mama. So when you see what time I clock, you see what time I'm going to clock, or yourself and get out of here, my viewers and subscribers. I'm out.